Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about chargebacks. How to create chargeback in accounts receivable with an application. So let's uh, get into the slides. So topic is that how to create chargebacks in receivables. So functional area is offerings are functional area and then, uh, sorry, uh, offerings, financials, functional area is billing and task minus is that chargeback. And what are the prerequisites to be required in order to create chargeback while we perform the activity, the fusion application. And we'll discuss about that. What is the best uh, business case as mentioned below? Okay, yeah. So first of all, what is a chargeback? So why do you want to create chargeback in the application? The reason being here, when some of the customers are not able to make a payment, again, as they open transactions. So in this space, what we can do? We can discuss with the customers to make a payment, a quick payment, or like, you know, what are the amount they can able to make a payment at that point of time? <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So once the customer is agreed to make a payment, again, it's open transaction. As I mentioned in the below, the total transaction value is $100 and receipt is $50. $50 here receipt as where the customer is agreed to make a payment right now. Okay. So remaining amount, you may need some more time to, or like you may need another couple of days. Let's say example, as for the payment terms, 40 days or 30 days, something like that. So once you agree to make a payment, remaining balance amount, then you can create a chargeback with a new due date. So that the first, what are the transaction we created, it will get closed and the new invoice will create it as a chargeback. So that's where this, this will come into the picture. Okay. So let's get into the application to perform this activity. As I mentioned, first we need to create a transaction type. So for that, navigate to setup and maintenance. Global search. Minus transaction types. Just click on that. This is the page where we can create a normally transaction types. Just click on press icon and uh, choose one second. Let me call out here uh, which one is to take it previously. Charge back. Common set. Okay, fine. That's fine. So now I can go and click on. <coughs> Common side and give name as uh, we or else I would, I would say IBM charge back. So keep it as a description. Select transaction class is that. From here, you need to choose which is the chargeback here and select open. From date, you can give us what is date or you, what are the date you want to give it. You can provide those things and you can gener choose this as a yes, generate bill as usually. And these are the things are fine. And assign this transaction type to business unit, which business is going to be perform this task. Ideally, it is a US1. One. <coughs> yes, one. Not coming. Just you can click blank search. Come down the last. You will get the yes one in the down. Here I go. 
and you can provide the revenue account and uh, revenue account you can provide as time being you can give it as a some kind of revenue revenue domestic say okay similarly provide receivable account choose from list of values search for it trade trade show not required this one So accounts receivables. Give this one. Select it. Save OK. So what I did, I just created transaction type as chargeback. I mean to say charge uh, transaction class as a chargeback. And then I assigned this particular transaction type to business unit by providing the default accounts, revenue and receivables. Say okay. Save and save and close. So now we created transaction type. Next, go to receivables. Create one transaction. Go to navigation. Click on create transactions. Select business unit. Yes, one keep as easy solution charge back ten quantity ten in price under the dollars of the unit price. <coughs> so, save. Complete and review. Make a note of transaction number is 8770. Save and close. Go to home page. Go to accounts receivables. Click on task menu. Click on create receipt. Reset type is standard. Business unit is unit ES1. Reset method is you can select any of the one here. Says check directly. And you can give charge by here CHR001. Uh, and amount is, let's say example, $100. Okay. So our average, I would say $500. And give the customer name, which customer you need to apply this reset. So select easy solution from here. Select site since the customer has multiple sites here, so that we need to select the which is the right site which we created the invoice. So now we created invoices here. <coughs> Click on submit and apply manually. So here I go to apply, go to application, click on add open receivables, which is nothing but as a open transaction, which we created in the previous step, 8770. Click on search. So you get the open transaction, click on add and done. So now this receipt has been applied on the this open transaction. Now you can notice here, the total transaction value was hundred sorry a thousand ninety dollars. Okay, so remain due amount is that still finance is the due amount which we need to uh, add to receive from the customer. But at presently, as with the scenario, the customer is not able to make a payment completely. So since he made only payment five hundred dollars, again we created the receipt now and save. So now this remaining $590, what can be done? Where 
the customer is not ready to make a payment at present since the due date also crossing out. So now the chargeback will come into the picture. So we need to create a chargeback for this $590, which is due amount with the different due date. Let's see how to create chargeback from here. Keep in mind, chargebacks can be performed on only receipts area, not in the transactions area. So go to actions. Here you can see create chargeback. Click on that. Select the which we created here. Previously, it was there chargeback somebody created and I created one uh, our own purpose IBM chargeback. Select the chargeback here. Since we created from the receipt window this chargeback, the system automatically populating the, the due amount which is supposed to be. <coughs> right. So here this $500, if you want to reduce it, yes, you can reduce it or you can keep it as it is, which is the actual due amount. Now you can see in the right hand side, amount is 1090. Balance due is 590. So if you are okay to continue further to create a chargeback, which is the create chargeback number as for this one, original transaction number. Okay. So once you provide that, here you can see distribution. This code combination deriving from the what we created from there, right? So from there, we'll pick it up, okay? And here you can go ahead and save and close, 1002, sorry, I, I think so, 192, that is a chargeback number. So now we can see this particular transaction either closed or not closed, let's say, save and save and close this receipt. Save and close. Go to home page, navigate to billing area, navigate to task menu, manage transactions. You can search for today's date, how many things got created here. And specifically mention that customer name, easy solution. <laughs> Search for it. Now you can see, no, notice one thing here. <coughs> Sorry. This is what we created as a original transaction number, right? So $1,090. Okay, now again as this due amount, we created chargeback, which is, which is number was here, one like two. Here you can see the original transaction number. By seeing this transaction number, you can understand it. This chargeback created against this original transaction number. That's how we can understand easily. And this is the amount for that. If you go and open this original transaction number, we can see that either this account got nullify or not. It means that balance got zero or not. Click on it. Now we can see here, total balance is showing as a zero, right? So original amount is that 1090 including tax and receipt we received $500 where the customer made a payment and uh, adjustment, which we created as a chargeback minus 590. So total balance is due now is zero. So now this, this particular transaction will get uh, closed out and so we'll close. This will be due for the customer remaining due amount, which was $590. Now we can see the due date is that so this is the one which we can keep it uh, keep it as a open at present. Right? So this is how we can create a chargebacks by using the functionality. The left hand side, you can see under the payment tab, due date is that 3 15 24. So, this would be helpful for the customer to make a payment remaining balances as well they're comfortable. This one way is the benefit for the customers, other way is that for company or client, the client can give them much more flexibility to the customers where they can have the good interaction between the client versus 
customers in order to build a good business relationship in the future as well as that's how we can understand this functionality okay save and close so this is the charge back number yeah so that's how we can perform this charge back in the fusion accounts receivable model yeah thanks for watching my video please do subscribe and like it share it and like you know yeah thanks for watching once again